Hello and welcome to another video on how to use Mobilock. In this video, we will see how to enroll your personal Android device and access corporate data. We are sure you must have received an email from your IT administrator asking you to enroll into Mobilock. If not, then you would need to request your IT administrator to give you access to enroll into Mobilock. Once your IT admin invites you, then you would be getting an email which looks like this. In this email, you would see that there's a QR code and there's a sign-in information. So there are two ways to enroll into Mobilock. One, by scanning QR code. But if you're using a mobile which does not have a camera or you're accessing this email on the same mobile that you want to enroll, you might want to sign in. However, for both the steps, the first thing is to install Mobilock Pro from Google Play Store. So click on the Install Mobilock Pro link and on the device on the left-hand side, click on the Install button. Once the Mobilock Pro client is installed, click on Open to launch it. I'm just waiting for it to be downloaded completely. Click on Open. Once you click on Open, you would see the option to enroll. Note that you don't have to sign up again. Your IT administrator is already done and all you have to do is click on Enroll. Because you are enrolling your own personal device, click on Personal. As mentioned earlier, you have two options. Either scan the QR code or click on Sign in. If you are accessing it from a device which does not have a camera or cannot scan QR code for a reason, click on sign in. You can manually enter your email ID. This email ID would be the same the one where you got the email and the org ID is mentioned in the email as highlighted here. In this video, we will see how to scan the QR code. Click on personal, click on QR code. You will be asked for the permission to access the camera and the phone. Note that we don't make any phone calls on behalf of you. This is just to get the device vital information. Once this is ready, go ahead and scan the QR code. Once you scan the QR code, it will validate the device and sign you in. If all goes well, it will load up the Terms of Use page for your organization. This is your organization's Terms of Use conditions. In this demo, I have used the Mobilox legal page. This might differ on your device. So, you click on got it and once you're ready you click on I agree to the terms of use once you agree to the terms of use click on next button at this point of time a OTP would be sent to you as you would see on my screen you have the OTP on the device enter the OTP that you have got now once the OTP is successfully verified, this is the most important step. You will be asked to create a work profile. What Mobilox Bring Your Own Device does is, it creates a separate secure container so that the work apps are completely independent of your personal apps. They don't interfere or interact with each other. Any work app is denoted by a briefcase as shown here. Click on Create so that the work profile creation starts. At this point, you would be seeing an OEM specific screens. This might differ from device to device, but the idea is to accept and continue when the system asks you to create a work profile. Now, it will take around two to three minutes for the work profile to be completely set up. Once it's completely done, the app will relaunch itself in a while. Wait for the application to be relaunched. You will be taken to the permission screen. Now, the permissions are basically required for a smooth operation of Mobilock. The first operation is usage access. We require this so that we can collect some basic data about the work applications that are working on your device so as to provide that information to IT admin. You can choose to skip it. Alternatively, you can click on the switch, find your app from the list of applications and enable it. In this case, we enabled it for Mobilock Pro. This is to allow Mobilock Pro to install applications. What it does is any enterprise or private application that your organization has and your IT admin publishes to your device, those are the only apps that Mobilock Pro installs. Mobilock Pro does not install any other app that is not approved by your organization. Click on switch, click on Mobilock Pro and give the permission. Now, furthermore, your administrator might have set a password there are two types of password. One is a work apps password and the other is a device level password. 
your admin might have said both, in which case you would see two cards, one asking for work apps and one asking for device. The work apps password is a special password which is only required when you're accessing any of the work apps and not when you're accessing your device so that the work apps are safe. Click on this button and give the password. So the rules are set by your IT administrator. In, in this case, my admin has asked me to set a six digit password. So I'll just set a six digit password. Once everything is done, the first thing that you would see that you would be asked to access your password or give the password. Give the password and once you have given the password, you would be asked to confirm your newly set password one more time. This is required so that we can reset it for you when you forget it. In case you forget it, this gives us the power to reset it for you remotely. Again, I'll be entering the password. Don't worry, this screen is blank because my password screens are not shown on Android. Once everything is done, you'll be back to the screen with green text next to each other. Once all of them are green, click on next. That's it. Once you are done, you would be going to the Mobilock workplace screen. Mobilock's workplace is an aggregated space where you can see all your work apps and shortcuts that your organization has given you at one place. You can also see the messages that your administrator has sent you. You can also look at the policies that are applied so that see how many applications are managed, what are the various restrictions that your admin has applied, the terms of use, and when was the last sync with Mobilox server. So the three sections are workplace, messages, and policies. This is your menu. You can run the diagnostics to initiate a manual sync. You can click on refresh, and to know about the application, you can click on about app. These are the applications that your organization has given you and they are aggregated here. This is a browser shortcut which opens in Mobilog browser. This is nothing but your internal organization sites that can be given as a bookmarks to you. All the others are applications. Note that all the work apps appear with a briefcase. If your Gmail is configured remotely, you would see that your email ID is pre-filled and all you have to do is enter your password. Similarly, when you minimize and open the system's default launcher, this is a Google Pixel, you would see that it is divided into two sections, both personal and work. The work contains all your work apps. Different devices have different way of doing this. But the idea is any app that has been denoted by a briefcase, an orange one or a blue one in this case, is a work app. This is how you have enrolled and get access to the work apps. If at any time you want to remove the work profile, if you're leaving the organization or you don't want the access, then you can click on accounts and click on remove work profile. This would notify the admin that you have removed the work profile from your device. Thank you.